Hi, in this episode of Toys Back Zen, we're going to be taking a look at this USS Saratoga. This was a G.I. Joe vehicle made in 2001, and I want to take a good look at this and see what it's all about. So stick around. First, a little bit of history of this real world ship. The USS Saratoga CV-3 was originally designed as a battle cruiser built in the 1920s, which was the US Navy's first aircraft carrier. Throughout the decades of its service, it saw many upgrades and many battles. One of those battles was in World War II at Pearl Harbor. In 1946, the ship was a target for a nuclear weapon testing during Operation Crossroads, but the second test was too much for the Saratoga and it sunk. Although still on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, it is still a popular destination for scuba divers. In the 1950s, a USS Saratoga CV-60 was built. This was the second aircraft carrier to be named for the Battles of Saratoga in the American Revolutionary War. I believe this is the ship that Hasbro had in mind when they designed this toy. And looking at pictures side by side, you can see this with the shape of the ship, the design of the toy, and the number on the bows. The radar system on top is really similar to what you see on the real ship. That's enough of the history of the ship, let's look at the toy. Before we look at the toy and how it works, First of all, we got to make it work. There's a lot of electronics in this toy and the batteries are not working. And you can see here, if you leave the batteries in your toys, this is what can happen. They can leak and over time it corrodes the connections and makes it so the electronics don't work. You can see here that all of these connections here for the battery are uh, quite corroded. I'm just going to take a file and my knife here and maybe some sandpaper and I'm just going to go over all of these connections and see if I can clean out some of this crusty battery acid that's dried up over time. All right, that didn't take long. It only took like five minutes to do that. So uh, this toy to me isn't worth much. It's not sentimental to me. I just think it would be cool because it does have all of the planes that it comes with. And I just think it would be cool to see if I can get this thing working. So let's turn this around. and see what happens. And there we go. We got it working now. You can see that the front wheels are moving over there. Because I've got it on forward. There we go, and there's our steering mechanism. Great. Now that we get it working, first of all, this is not the USS Flag. I had that toy as a kid, and it's humongous. It's about seven feet long. This is nowhere near that size. I have measured it, and we have 34 inches long, 11 inches tall, and 1 foot or 12 inches 
deep. So it's a lot smaller, but I think it could be a good toy. For one thing, it's not as big. If you have a small toy room and you like to collect everything that G.I. Joe has to offer throughout the years, including the modern stuff, this might be something that you might be interested in having. Now I had the real toy, like I said, and it was humongous. It took up half of my bedroom, and you know what? That's a, probably a holy grail for a lot of us that are G.I. Joe collectors if we don't have it already. Now, although this isn't super detailed, there is some detail on this ship. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at its play features. It does have a couple missing turrets here. You can see how they would move and you, it would make a sound. There is one missing there and there is one missing on this side here. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to have those. It also has two anchors on the front. It doesn't look like they come out and uh, you can't really do much with them. You have the USS Saratoga sticker here, G.I. Joe, which is really cool. It's kind of the old style G.I. Joe from the 60s and 70s. So we do have three buttons down here on the bottom right. It says, try me, push buttons for lights, sounds, and motorized radar. So the first one does this. The second button does this. And the third button does this, which sounds like the radar. You kind of have to push it and hold it. And I believe the radar here is supposed to turn, but unfortunately, when you press that button, nothing happens. So I don't plan on trying to fix that. I did fix the batteries already, but we're going to move on. The next thing we have here is a compartment that you can open up on the deck and you can see that it did come with all of the aircraft. So it's a nice place that you can store the aircraft when you're not playing with it. There's quite a few different styles of aircraft here. All of these are lightweight, made out of plastic, and they have wheels on the bottom that do move, and then there is a little uh, hook here, and I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Some other play features is we have a couple decks that elevate. If you just press this button, and it brings the aircraft up, you can try the same thing over here. You press this button here, and it comes up. So using those hooks on the aircraft, we have two slots here on the front. You just bring that into the slot like this. Once that clicks, you can move that up and simulate the aircraft taking off. Now we have another one here. Looking at the back of the ship, we have this little compartment here that opens up. And you can see there's some controls. Now there's an on-off switch. Now these on-off switch does not turn on and off the three buttons with the lights and sounds. But what it does is allow you to turn on the movement of the ship. When it's off, it doesn't do anything. But when we turn it on, we've got our radar sounds there. Now the radar is turned on with this dial. That's perpetually on, but when it goes down, it's a momentary switch that only turns on when it's pushed down. This joystick makes it move forward and back.
it also turns. Here's a scale comparison to a three and three quarter inch X30 and a six inch figure. Now, although this toy is a little small in scale compared to our other GI Joe scales that we like to mostly collect, I think this is still a really cool toy for a display piece. Now, if you are a die-cast collector, a great way to display your die-cast aircraft would be this aircraft carrier. Now, these are early 70s die-casts that I picked up uh, years ago. It was a set of nine aircraft, and uh, they are roughly in the same scale as this aircraft carrier and these aircraft that came with it. So, as a die-cast collector, this might be something that you're looking for. Now I got quite a few that came with this set and it's kind of a really cool display piece. These aircraft by the way are really nice. The wings do come out on a couple of these. These two here. You've got propellers um, on this one here that are articulated they do move and it has die cast wheels on the bottom that also move these look really similar to Ertl if you ever find these in the wild and they're not sealed here's a helicopter here uh, most of them do have some markings on the bottom that tells you the model of the aircraft and I think all of these are US naval aircraft so it's really cool and it looks great on this USS Saratoga. Now there's another toy line that I can think of that would look great on this Saratoga it would be Megaforce. Now if you're a Megaforce collector you can see and you know that the scale is much smaller than the scale that these aircraft are but still it's a really cool spot to perhaps display maybe if you've got three four maybe five mega force vehicles some of the smaller ones would fit on here too in greater numbers I think it would look really good let me know in the comments what other toys you think would scale with this ship and let me know if this is something that you would like to have in your collection and don't forget, the next time you see this at your thrift store or flea market, you never know what's in this compartment. Always open it up and take a look. It may be worth buying this just for what's inside for the couple of bucks that they have on it. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bags Zen. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit a notification bell so you can get newer videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching and see you later. Thank you.